Time for one more adventure with Raven. This time I went down to Fort Francis and picked up my daughter. 22-8. Fort Francis traffic, Hotel Mike Bravo is uh, holding short on Alpha for uh, departure on 3-0. Looking for any traffic at the Fort Francis circuit, uh, Hotel Mike Bravo. Fort Francis area traffic, Hotel Mike Bravo is positioning 3-0. Weather was pretty nice, considering it was the end of October, so I thought we'd go over to Nestor Falls and check out their little airport and go for lunch. It's like the zipper, but in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Way more fun. This was Andrea's first ride in the Raven, so I wanted her to have a great flight. A little bit of a left crosswind. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, we're going. Last time you flew with me in a tail dragger, it didn't end well. Thanks. Just, just saying. Flaps coming up. This is very different. Half our fastest traffic, we got Mike Bravo's airborne 3 0, departing to the west 3000. <laughs> so I thought we'd take a rip over to Emo and then just follow the road north. Can we wave at Robert and Olivia? Sure. They're like right in Emo. Okay. I don't know where Emo is, but I gotta find the highway. I guess we'll follow the road. Five thousand five hundred seconds oh. the open front in like twenty minutes. There's his house right there. There's a tree. Where's whose house? Oh, Robert's house. See the row of hay bales? Yeah. His house is next door. Oh okay. It's right there in the trees actually. The one oh, that's in the trees. Two six eight. And naturally, once we got to Emo, we had to fly over a friend's place, take a few pictures. You can see the fender sitting in the yard behind his car. Oh, somebody didn't know how to drive away. <laughs> yeah. Get some altitude. Okay, are you ready? Okay, we're gonna nose up. <laughs> oh, I'm going to the stick and over we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll head up to Nestor Falls. It was a short run up to Nestor Falls. And since I hadn't been there before with the Raven, I thought I'd do a low and over to have a good look at the runway first. No. Oh. Sorry. Just do a little side slip. Yeah, I booted a bunch of rudder in here. It kind of took her by surprise. I guess I could have told her ahead of time I was going to do a little side slip. See a vehicle parked on the side of the runway there. Yeah. Not sure what they're doing, but the runway itself looks pretty nice. Oh, look, there's, there's an airplane. Imagine and that. a few people. And people. Go. Cool. And a helicopter. And a helicopter. With a net. Nestor Falls traffic is coming. Bravo is going around. 2 on move for the circuit. Runway looked nice and clean, no surprises, so we lined up to come in for a landing. Nestor Falls traffic is coming. Bravo is a midfield downwind for 2 1 for a full stop. Nestor Falls. 
Nestor Pulse, traffic and satellite, Bravo, and turn final, two on full stop. Nestor Pulse. You come down over the lake and then kind of over and through the trees a little bit on uh, final to get into Nestor Falls, runway 21 anyways. Uh, one of the fellows described it, it's a little bit like landing on an aircraft carrier. Uh, it's a r- the wind this day was just about straight down the runway and reasonably light. I even managed to grease the landing for her. A little smoother than the last go, mate. <laughs> now, normally I would park with that helicopter. I think he's taking up a lot of real estate there, so. Nestor Falls traffic hotel. Mike Bravo's down to clear the active Nestor Falls. So here we are in Nestor Falls. On the ground, safe and sound. Got a few pictures of the, uh, the other aircraft that were there. And put the cover on the Raven, and we went for the short walk over to the uh, Bear's Den restaurant. So, uh, here's a quick uh, illustration of how far it is to get to the uh, Bears Den. It's just a short scenic walk. Uh, took us uh, maybe 10 minutes to get to the uh, to the Bears Den restaurant. And uh, yeah, well, there we had lunch. And then after that, it was back home again. Thanks for watching.